Worldwide Pinhole Photography Day is coming up for 2012 on April 29th this year. Last year I used this uh, Pinhole 100 camera that takes Polaroid Type 100 film or Type 80 film. In the last year it has developed a light leak along the left hinge here. So I've had to keep that covered with uh, black tape. I did find a box of old type 80 film, 88 film, uh, expired in 1981. I bought this for 25 cents at a garage sale last week. I think the odds of any of it working are probably about 1%. Although I have had some 1977 film developed before with some effort. So I used Type 100 last year. This supposedly uses Type 80 as well. So I'll probably give this a shot for Pinhole Photography Day. But I don't expect very good results. So what I thought I'd do instead, in late 2010 my Nikon D200 failed. I started getting the dreaded Nikon ERR messages every other shot or so on most all lenses. At about that same time in the late 2010, early 2011, the Nikon D7000 came out, so I decided to get it. I had always intended to wait for the D400. I had skipped the D300, but as any Nikon user knows, that didn't happen until this year, so. I got in a point where I had to go for something. I didn't want to go for the D300. That was already kind of outdated, so I went with the D7000, which left me with a fairly unusable D200 and its accessories, such as the uh, AC cable and the remote. I realized later I could use it with a body cap that had been converted to a pinhole. So I thought what I would try this year is to just use this as a pinhole camera for World Photography Day. The, the rules on World Fit Pinhole Photography Day seem to allow digital. Anyway, I'll give it a shot. We'll keep all the settings in a manual. And I'm going to keep a low ISO 100. I'm going to shoot in raw and fine. And we'll have the uh, MC36 set for a 30 minute exposure at first. I'm going to try this outside at night. One thing I have found for pinhole photography is this handy little exposure guesstimator. Uh, this is actually from the Harman, Harman Titan site for their pinhole camera and you can download this from their internet. Of course it's on paper. I just mounted it on this cardboard. It's on three separate sheets of paper you have to cut out and sort of merge them together. But you set your uh, your ISO in this little window then you point the arrow towards the lightness of your uh, shoot. I'm at night so that's all the way to the end really. And then you find your stop and um, the pinhole lens or the pinhole body cap for mine is a f1.62 so you line that up and over here and uh, we're coming close to 30 minutes but this is an interesting little pinhole exposure calculator um, it says original design by Richard Coolish before the Harmon Ilford Titan people I sort of modified it. Ilford Photo. And you might go on their website and uh, find the technical support data for their Titan pinhole and uh, download this. It comes in handy. But anyway, um, for the MC36 we would just we'll do a little test right here. So we'll set the exposure at If 
15 seconds. We'll start the timer countdown from 5. Counting down. So we'll set this on this little tripod, Coleman tripod here, on Worldwide Pinhole Photography Day and try and shoot something up at night or in the dark and see how that comes out. We'll also try the pinhole with the Type 88 film in it, although I don't expect a lot from that. So don't forget to take a pinhole photograph this Sunday, April 29th. And I'm going to try the digital this year. Thanks for watching. Bye.